What is going on, my legion? Welcome back to part two of the Jujutsu Kaisen add-on. And there's a few things I missed last episode. Now, last episode, I didn't show you guys the crafting, so this is everything you can craft in this add-on: the nails and Nekamaru's mech. So that's really cool. And in here, there are a few things I've missed with the curse spirits, curse techniques, right? So let me, let me go ahead and go in creative, so nothing bad happens to me. So if I go ahead. Use Dagon again, right? I have multiple set abilities. So let me go ahead and grab some husk and use them on some husk, right? So for Dagon, right? Let's go ahead and crouch, right? Death Swarm. I can hold this down. And I didn't even know. Them. Get that. Yo. You can hold that down, and that's just insane. Sad thing is though, you cannot run. I am currently like double tapping my my um. That that's just cool, like dude. I didn't even know that. And then we have water right here, right? Water, the same thing. Nothing much I really missed from right there. But what I did miss is the guy's domain expansion, the octopus dude's domain expansion right here. So domain expansion, you can only use a domain expansion if you don't move. If you move or get hit at all during your domain expansion, it will be canceled out. So domain expansion, right? Bro, look at the animation looks sick. And this surrounds you, whatever, surrounds you and, and others. And let's say you break it or someone breaks inside, the domain goes away. And the cooldown is very, very long. And you're not able to use any curse techniques, no curse skills. So you will have to literally run away until the timer goes down on the top right. Since I'm uncreative, I can go ahead and cheat and reset my cooldown time. So that's pretty cool. And also, I didn't have to keep on slash killing myself the whole time last episode. So if you go ahead and grab this thing from creative or whatever, you can go ahead and remove your ability, which is pretty cool. And that brings me on to our next curse spirit that we messed up last episode. We have Hanami. Now for Hanami, not for their thing, right? We have their wooden curse ball, right? Whatever. We have their flower fill. You hold it down. Some cool stuff happens. Like this, hold it down. There you go, flower field. Then we have the curse bud. Once our timer goes down, we have the curse bud. Right, pretty cool. Uh, we have roots. Yeah, right. But then we also have another domain expansion with Hanami, which I did not even know about. Just a regular domain expansion. Not that you know, not that cool. Whatever. Once again. If you run out of it or if you like disable it it will be a very very long cooldown and then i also missed jogo's technique too so i missed a lot of this for jogo right so let's go ahead and let's say uh meteor i messed up meteor don't know how but dude this looks insane right we got maximum meteor oh my god oh my god Look at that. Yo, that looks sick. Bro. And then we have flame. Once again, we can go ahead and hold down flame once we reset our cool time, our cooldown time, right? So we have maximum flame. Waiting for it to get max. There you go. It is red. And we have volcano, right? So I think we can hold on, hold down volcano. Yep, there we go. We go hold on volcano for a bigger one. But thing is too, if I go ahead and go to my curse settings, and I do, I think it's this one. I'm a curse spirit now, yeah. Yeah, I'm now a curse spirit, and since I'm a curse spirit, I have way more moves for Jogo. So I have Ember Insects. Let's go ahead and find that one again. You hold it down. And more of them come out. And then they like, bro, first person mode, look at this. And they explode. Like, bro, on top of that too, your flame is stronger. Watch this. Maximum flame. Oh, I thought it'd be purple now. Okay, whatever. We got Volcano again. Still pretty cool. But since you Jogo, you become stronger. You have stronger abilities and stuff now. So that's pretty cool. And then he also has a domain expansion. 
So let's go ahead and see that real quick. Uh, right here, domain expansion. Looking pretty cool, pretty cool. Literally turns everything to lava. Everything melts away. Look at this. Nothing is surviving in here. I mean, unless you're Sukuna. Oh my god, I miss so much with Hanami. So I went back to Hanami's thing. And if you're a cursed spirit with Hanami, dude, you get their flower bud. I wonder, I wonder if flower food is like is different. Hold on, let me check. You know, it's, I want this curse bud different, bro. I, bro this add-on is like, it's blowing me away each time. Ooh, wait, oh, bruh. Where'd that go? Oh, there we go. That's what happens. Okay. Flower curse energy field. Oh, that's what happens. And then I. Oh. Yo, that's. I forgot Hanami did that. They dried up everything. All right, guys. So I went back to Dagon. Now, this is kind of crazy, too. I missed a few things. So we have Piranha Shigami. Look at this. We have water again. I'm going to water, right? Still the same. We have Death Swarm. We've seen Death Swarm. More Rei Shikigami. You know, there's that. Piranha Shikigami again. And that's it. All right, up next, we have Cursed Speech. Now, Cursed Speech, it's also another pretty crazy one that I like in this add-on. Because let's say I have this, right? Don't move. They don't move. Now, if I go ahead and do... Stop. Hey, stop. If I go ahead and say explode. Oh my gosh. No. Now if I go ahead and say explode, they go ahead and explode. And if I was in survival, I would have gotten some kind of nausea, I'm pretty sure, from that. So let's go ahead and try that again, right? Explode. No. I think I will get nausea if it doesn't one shot them. Alright, for our next one we have crumble away. Alright. Oh my yo! Why did I just explode? Okay, we have crumble away one target. Okay. Yeah, he just explodes and what? We have a get twisted. Now get twisted is also another crazy one. Cause their arms and body actually twist. Boom. You see his arm twist. They twist it again. There we go. They right here get crushed. They literally get crushed. Blast away. Blast them very, very far back. Then return. I'm not too sure what return does. What does that do? Yeah, I'm not too sure. You guys can tell me down below. All right, for our next ability, we have Curse Spirit Manipulation. Now, how this one works? Let's say I go ahead and grab a like some great two Curse Spirits, right? Let's say I grab this one, this one, right? I place them down. Place these guys down. And then I want to like, boom, right click on them, right click on them again, right click, right click, right click, there you go. Since I right click those guys, right? Let's go ahead and fly over here. And then those guys, they turn into little tokens. And these tokens can be uh, used. So you go ahead and you know, you capture them, you spam them down. Okay. You spam this one down right here too. And as you eat them, you do feel sick because remember what Gecko said? And he feels just disgusted eating cursed spirits. So you eat those. Go back to your cursed spirit manipulation. And you can uh summon these guys in. And they will fight for you and follow you. And also you can go ahead and reinforce your course your course, your cursed spirit. And then you crouch down, you can summon previous spirits, you can capture cursed spirits. And then you can use your, your maximum Uzumaki technique, which does, which maxes out all your curse spirits, like everything you have in your, in your inventory. And everything summits together, dealing massive amounts of damage. Oh my god, bro, just got blued. And as you can see, I shot my cursed energy all the way over there. And Dojo just took down my cursed spirit. Wow. I'm gonna have to run the ones with you later. But yeah, as you saw before, let's go ahead and say I captured. Like a lot of these, right? Let's say like, dang, how many can I have? 20, 21? 
30? Oh my god, yo, you could have a lot of these guys. Right? Let's say they all stacked up over time, right? You go ahead, do your special technique, max it out for 67 damage. And you see that man, Gojo, who killed your last curse spirit. And you can go ahead and blast him right now. And he turned into Gojo with the death animation on. Yep. And he transforms into, like, you know, OP, going crazy, giving back shots kind of Gojo. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Our next ability, we have Construction My Zenin. I think this is, uh, Maki's sister, I'm pretty sure, right? So, I think for this one, if I have a gun and some bullets, uh, it should work like that, I think. So, let me see. Construction. Bullet. Count. Zoom 10. Right? Okay, bullet, bullet, right? C can I just make... Okay, you know, wait, no, you're lying. Okay, you're, 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 you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. I just cannot make bullets, right? You're no, 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 no. I got it. <laughs> no way. This is my curse tech. It's not. She's making his bullets. Dude. Next one. We have idle transfiguration. Now we are gonna need to go back to being a curse spirit for this one because it is Mahito's curse technique. And I hate this man, Mahito, with the passion. And I'm pretty sure we all do, right? All right, I am now a curse spirit again. Let's go ahead, become Mahito, right? So we have Idle Transfiguration Alter. So we can go ahead and alter, like, uh, Jujutsu uh, people. All right, so for Mahito, we have Idle Transfiguration. We can turn them into, like, little, like, stumps like this. So go up to one and go ahead and right-click. There we go. They become these little thingies right here. You can hold it down. For a minute here is the animation looking pretty cool you let go and that's what happens and that's pretty scary looking oh my god yeah i would hate to be on the receiving end of mahito if i ever see mahito in real life bro i, I i'm running for my life dude i'm but i'm dipping i am dipping i am putting in third gear bro i'm gone we have altar like that we can blow him up so oh Oh, 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 they're different. What? Are they random? Yo. Then we have Mahito's domain expansion, which looks insane in this add-on because it's a lot of hands and a lot of hands. Look at this. It looks insane, dude. Once again, if you disable it or someone breaks out of it, you will need to take a long time uh charging it up again up next we have mecha Morrow's ability now for mecha Morrow's ability if i were to go ahead and do it outside i will be burning and i'm not sure why i'm not burning now because you know how mecha Morrow cannot be outside so let's go ahead and go inside right and pop this there we go now if this body of mine was outside i would like i'll be burning this body right here we burning and if this body dies, then I die. So, as you can see, I am uh, the Mecha Maru puppet. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And for my first ability, I think it is like the spinning leg kick or something like that. Never mind, it is like the punch, the flame punch. Next move, we have Ultra Cannon. Pretty cool. We have Albatross Ult- What? What does this even mean? Holy crap, that's a lot. All right, then up next, we have Giant Mecha Maru. You go ahead and build this bad boy up. You cannot enter Mecha Maru in your mech form. You will have to be in your normal state or someone else will have to drive it or whatever. You go ahead, right click on it. Dude, the animation. Wait, what? Bro, no way. What? Yo, the walking animation is insane. Can he jump? Yeah, he can. He just jumps like normally. Okay, how do I get the move story for him now? So I can't crouch because I will just like, leave and get out. Curse energy to your charge currently for zero days. What do you mean? To what I gotta wait, dude? Is there some kind of item I can like I can grab from creative? All right, guys. So this is why you watch me. I go ahead and take a lot of time and show you guys how everything actually works. Right? If you're Mechamaru, right? You have his powers. You want to find Mahito. 
right click on Mahito, have Mahito heal your body, and then go back to your regular body, then you can write this thing, right? But before you write this thing, you have to make it, and you also have to make these simple domain thingies. And once you make these simple domain thingies, you use them, and they charge up curse energy, but not from the top right. There, it's a simple, it's a different uh, cursed energy bar somewhere else. And then once you ha have that activated, right, you go through your skills, right, and then go back to your regular cursed energy skill right here, and you can do the moves. Like look at this, bro. Like okay, Dan, what's this one? Look at that, bro. Look how cool that looks. Then we have kick. Oh, do we just literally just kick him? We literally like just kick him like that. We have below. We literally just blow them like regular. Pause. We do not blow them like regularly. Hold on, yo, chill. Okay. And then we have Jujutsu technique or charge. All right, we have that. Then we have Ultra Cannon again. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at that. Well, that's pretty cool. For uh Mechamaru. But if you guys did like and enjoy this add on showcase review, hit the like button, subscribe, but guess what? As I'm recording this, we just hit 10k. Thank you so much. And remember, Christmas Legion, we're united. See you guys next video. Laters.